about uh, at least the way you guys defended the passing game? Oh uh, yeah, you know, coming into that game, you know, with a big target on number nine, you know, making sure that he was a quiet aspect of the game, you know, and I feel like when well, coaches tell me, I feel like we got that job done for the most part. You guys, this, this month goes on, you're facing some teams now like they're on the ball. Um, how do you feel about the state of the tackling by the secondary and how much of a challenge you think tackling is going to be these next three weeks? Uh, it's going to be a huge challenge because tackling is the hardest hardest part of playing, of playing football, especially for defense. And, you know, we're going to have to emphasize tackling, especially in practice, because when, when you get tackles down, that's how you win. Get those turnovers. That's how Alabama plays. When you get tackles, it's just a whole different type of ball game. And practicing tackling. I mean, Coach Neal says the only way to really do it is go live. You guys obviously can't go live a lot because they, you know, they don't want really to get you all banged up. How do you get better through the course of a week at tackling? Or does uh, it really just come down to games and live practice? Well, in our practice, this is kind of weird because, like, in practices we hit, but you pra basically you're practicing missing the tackle. Yeah. But it's kind of weird, but like. You just got to do for yourself training just to fit up as much as you can to the best that you possibly can as well. How much have you improved in, in your career and how much was it, I guess, beneficial to, to not redshirt? I mean, when you look back, how much have you developed and what's been the biggest part of your development? I feel like playing my freshman year really helped me out a lot. You know, playing plays, you know, game speed and all that stuff, knowing situations and stuff. And carrying over to this year, you know, I'm just knowing what to do, practicing on my technique, you know, being able to make plays on ball, becoming a, a it factor on the defense, and I feel like I'm just starting to develop each and every week. Have you felt a jump in your production since you've been starting these last couple of games? Uh, yeah, I felt that, you know, oh, wow. just playing with a chip on my shoulder, you know, playing the best ability I can. How was it to go up against Juju? Um, you know, it was, it was a tough challenge, you know. I knew it coming in the week, you know, preparing for him, you know, it was going to be a big, going to be a big matchup. I did in my freshman year, so I was like, I, I got to get round two again, so I had to win the job. Did that motivate you, though, a little bit extra when you get a guy that's that's that good and see if you can match him, I guess? Is that fair to say? Yeah, I feel like um, if I can make a play on him, I can make a play on anybody in the country. You know, he's going to be a, he's gonna be a first round pick, probably number one receiver off the board, so that's going to be a big kudos to me. You know, I got to do that as a freshman in the sophomore as well. Did USC, did USC throw anything at you offensively that you maybe didn't expect? Um, not really. I just felt like the quarterback, you know, he was a big factor in him. You know, he could run the ball too. and when he ran the ball, he ran with a purpose. How important is it to keep an eye on Christian McCaffrey this week? It's real important, you know. Even though he's been quiet the past couple of weeks, he can always have that breakout game, get people to know, get the buzz out about him. You know, he's still a good player. It doesn't don't get that wrong. Like he's gonna be a good player. And, you know, having our eyes on him is gonna be real key. Even with Area not starting anymore, how have you seen him kind of respond to that? Because it didn't seem like he's playing, put his head down. He's really responded to that on the field. Um, he's, he's still helping out the team, you know, he's still encouraging us, especially especially me, you know. He still wants us to do good as a unit and everything like that. He's never been let down about it. He's always prepared and ready to go whenever his name is called. How much is he in your ear about helping you out and kind of getting you going? Oh, uh, it's 24-7. It's been like this since I've been here. Like, he's still in my ear every day. I practice every time. You, you probably haven't watched uh, any Stanford film yet, but what does it take to stop a Stanford offense? Tackling. Make tackles. Gotta get everybody in the box, do their keys, know their assignments. Play, with, play fast and play with a purpose. Have you been watching any other games this year? Uh, yeah, I've watched them play against uh, Oregon State the last, the last game. Thanks, you go. Thanks, you go. Thank you, Mike.